hi beloved welcome to my channel my name is Sakil if you want to subscribe hit on the subscribe button if you want to be notified of the videos that I post as I post on a daily basis hit on the notification button do not forget to like to share and comment on my videos welcome as I usher to God's greatness and to God's goodness hallelujah thank you so much beloved for the love the support that you keep on showing me on this channel may God richly bless you amen God today is saying this will also speak for your relationship hallelujah this was all will also speak for your relationship. Let us look at the book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 23 to 26. Hallelujah. It says, At last the man exclaimed, This one is the bone from my bone, and flesh from my flesh. She will be called woman because she was taken out of a man. This explains why a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife. And the two are united into one. Now the man and his wife were both naked, but they felt no shame. Hallelujah. God is saying this will speak for your relationship. Hallelujah. God says when, when the wife was created, the man exclaimed and said, This is the bone from my bones, hallelujah, and the flesh from my flesh. She will be called woman because she was taken from a man, hallelujah. The Bible says it is the man that exclaimed, hallelujah. It is the man that spoke those words, hallelujah. So God today is saying the godly ordained spouse is going to speak those words that you are a bone from his bone, hallelujah. You are a flesh from his flesh hallelujah he will give you a name from you were made out of him hallelujah if you look at verse 25 it says this explains now it speaks to your relationship this explains why a man left his father and mother and be joined to a wife now the man and his wife were both naked but they felt no shame hallelujah so God is saying today, this is applying to your relationship. When you and your spouse are together, you don't feel any shame about each other. The Bible says they were both naked, but they didn't feel any shame. Hallelujah. God today is saying there is no need to compare your spouse with someone else's spouse. There is no need to compare your family with someone else's family. There is no need to compare yourselves with your friend's spouse. Hallelujah. Because God is saying when they were both naked, when they were both had nothing, when they were both trying to build their future when they were both both at nowhere the bible says but they felt no shame hallelujah god today is saying you might be married and at the same time you feel your husband is a failure or you feel your wife is not good enough god says when they were naked they felt nothing hallelujah if you if you read if you read the verse from the from chapter 23 that's where it it explains why are they together why they have that strong bond of that even if they don't have nothing but they don't feel ashamed because one was built or was created or was made out of the other hallelujah when we when we listen to the word of god we hear the man praising what he had created saying this i will call it this because it was taken out of me hallelujah now when we read at the at, at, at chapter at verse 24 we see that god is showing that everything that happens in your marriage it is between the two hallelujah because the bible says when they had nothing when they were naked they never felt shame the bible doesn't mean when their parents visit them they felt they didn't feel naked. The Bible says when they went in the shopping center and meet friends who maybe are, 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 are CEOs in a certain company, they didn't feel shame. But the Bible says when they were naked, they never felt any shame. Hallelujah. Meaning in everything that you encounter in your marriage, in your marriage try by all means or make sure that you support your partner and you keep your marriage between you two you discuss things between you two hallelujah because everything that happens it must not show your shame it must not show your marriage shame it must not show what kind of a marriage because you are now not embarrassing one or the other partner 
partner but you are embarrassing the marriage itself hallelujah when you were walking down the aisle you said god has created us god has created this this woman out of your bone out of your flesh now when now things aren't working well now you are shaming each other god is saying this must apply in your marriage whenever any trial rises whenever any challenge rises protect each other protect your kids protect your family protect your marriage protect your image protect your reputation stay blessed in the mighty name of jesus christ amen